This is a BL-10, a couple BL-10s, and I want to kind of show you, I had, uh, I had this one, it's apart right now, it locked up. What happens is, this, this is what moves the blade back and forth. Well, there's two bearings in here, they're, uh, they're a NTN bearing, a 608Z, and... This spins on two bearings, and they froze up on one of these for, for me. So I want to show you how. So this is the adjustment. Let me grab a wrench. What happens is, as everybody knows, is when you turn this, this you can get access this through the... When you turn this, it, it, it pivots this unit. So I'm going to make it more stroke. So what happens is when this spins, it moves that back and forth. So that's how that moves the blade back and forth. It hooks on that right, right in here, and it hooks on that. And it just slides this blade back and forth as that rotates. What happens, so I'll tell you how to take this apart. I've never had one of these apart. So, this little nut right here, that nut has a, like a 1 16th roll pin in it. And it keeps, it keeps the tension on that so you can turn it and adjust it. And uh, so what you got to do is drive the 1 16th roll pin out of this, take this nut off, unthread this out of a bronze nut that's inside this. Then you take these three screws. There's three, three screws holding a cap on. They're uh, straight slotted flathead screws. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, right there's one. Right there it is. I was on the wrong part. Those three screws right there. This slot right here, that's, that is a cap that's actually pressing the bearings because this bronze piece is a bore that two bearings are pressed in. And this is a cap. You use a spanner wrench and you tighten it up against the outer races. So you take this nut off, you unthread this, you take these three straight screws, slotted uh, flathead screws, take them off, and what you get is this right here. You take the screws out, and this will come off of here. So I'm, I'm trying to film this. I can't film it and work, so I'm just gonna pop this off. So when you do that, you take that off, then you take this, unthread this bolt after you get the nut out. So that bolt comes out and then this thing will come off. And what it's gonna be, there's gonna be bearings inside here. This is gonna be pressed into those bearings. So what you're gonna have when you pull this unit out is you're gonna have something that looks like this right here. This is gonna be in, this piece I got in right here is gonna be pressed into bearings in this. On the back side of this, this is what the, the bolt threads into, and this is what adjusts, this adjusts for the stroke. And this detail, you need to mark it. I would mark it, you know, where uh, red on this side and a black on this side, how that comes in here. And I'll do that right now. I should have had a marker here. I'm 
gonna mark this. Uh, I'll put a line there and a line going this way. And then this, this, this steel nut comes out of the back of that. This just pries out of there. Um, Should have had a screwdriver too. And these are precision. So there it is. This came out. And here's what I got now. Inside this, this is already apart, but use a spanner wrench and you can take this, this cap off and there's your bore that two bearings go in. Um, once you pull, actually you can press, even with this in there, you can press, you can press this shaft out of the bearing. So what you're gonna have is this uh, inside there and there's it's gonna be inside the bearings you can just press this out there was a screw in there too and this screw was broke that might be what caused the bearings to go bad there was a screw uh, holding this in and it's a bad design but it broke uh, tiny little screw I don't know where that went there it is so there's a little screw that was on the end of that shaft and it's a four millimeter flathead or slotted and uh, that's pretty much it you know I'm I've got to get bearings they're pretty cheap the bearings that go on this but that's all there is to putting this taking this apart you don't have to take the snap rings off of this you know and these should be nice and free so that's how that all comes apart uh, it'll be interesting when I get the bearings and see if I uh, damage damn the damage you got to be careful when you're pressing bearings and you don't want to press on the wrong spot so I'll be pressing on the outer races into here then I'll be pressing I'll support the bearings from underneath and I'll press this detail into the bearings but you got to remember to put this this cap right here on before you do that because once that's pressed together, that's not coming off. And uh, I'll probably either make a screw or something for the, the end of this shaft. But that's how this comes apart. It's not rocket science, but I thought it was pretty interesting. I've never had one of these apart. So this should spin freely. So, all right, that's it. Thanks for watching.